Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you're not doing well, I'm happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. Hey guys, today is Sunday, May 21st and the energies in the day <clears throat> adds up and reduces the number six vibration. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. So <clears throat> when it comes to the spirit animal energy, we are working with the dolphin and to me, the dolphin energy reminds me of the day. It's Sunday, sunny, um, vibrant, playful, childlike, expressive energy. And the day does add up and reduce the number six vibration. And the number six is a social energy. The day is the 21st. Two plus one is three. The number three is a child. It's an energetic energy. So everything about Sunday, like, yes, there's, you know, some challenging aspects to the day. But a lot of what I'm seeing about Sunday, you know, there's this social aspect to it because, um, say with the sun in Gemini, the sun, <clears throat> the sun moves into Gemini and with the sun moving into Gemini today, we identify with say communication, curiosity, we identify with our local communities and then at the same time to twinning. It's like mirroring, you know, reflecting each other and feeling safe in the reflections of each other and wanting to be in the presence of others who mirror us back to us because there's that safety in the whole reflection aspect of Gemini energy. And also too, when I look at say the challenging aspects to the day, I look at how the sun is a ruler of the day and the sun is being squared by Saturn and Pisces. So of course, Saturn and Pisces is creating structure to our dreams, structure to things that normally cannot be grasped, like things that are very elusive. And Saturn is there bringing some kind of a structure and foundation or breaking it all apart and helping us to, you know, create a foundation when it comes to our, our, intuition, premonition, subconscious, and creative abilities, create some kind of a structure there if there was none. But the sun is a part of a, a square with that. But the sun is also positively aspected by Neptune and Pisces and Mars and Leo. So the sun is positively aspected by the whole dreamy energy where, you know, we want to play big kid vibe and escapism. So to me, when I think of the dolphin energy in the day adding up and reducing to the number six, I think of say today could be a day of overindulgence, overindulgence for the sake of like the, you know, the group that you're a part of. I think of peer pressure, whether it's intentional or unintentional, because we don't want to be different because of the Gemini energy. I just think of the twins. It's like, you know, twin day dress up and we dress alike or people being a part of their social groups and everybody is like a lot alike and you know they enjoy it that way and because of that sometimes people feel pressure to keep up the challenging aspects i see is mars squaring mercury conjunct the north node in taurus and pluto and pluto is in aquarius but it's in retrograde so when i think of the challenging aspects being made to me, something about communication. I feel like people not feeling comfortable enough to assert themselves or assert their needs when it comes to communicating what they need. I think about being a part of a group and not wanting to seem like the, the odd one out, not wanting to seem like the one who is like the party pooper type of vibe. 
And out of fear of that, it's like, okay, I'll just go along with the fun. I'll go along with the vibes. Um, the day is the 21st. The number two is nurturing. It's a mothering energy. The number one is the self. It's, you know, individualistic type of energy. Two plus one is three. The number three is a childlike, creative, expressive energy. And it's an energy that's very social, like the number five, you know, which is the month. And the energies in the day adds up and reduce the number six vibration. Whenever the number six is present, it's important that we reflect on our definition for success. And for me, true success is spiritual and emotional growth. Checking in with myself and asking myself, how am I doing in this situation opposed to how would I, how I would have done a month ago? six months ago, a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, you know, to see how I'm growing because the number six is a material based energy. Like Gemini has this material side to it because there's two sides to Gemini, but we all have that duality within us, but we all tend to dwell on the side that sociably celebrated, that sociably accepted. We don't want to say rock the boat, piss people off and be rejected. So with the number six energy being a material driven energy, this is where, you know, certain material things are used to complete us. So it's like when I achieve this title, it will mean something about me. When I marry a certain kind of mate, it will mean something about me. When I buy a certain kind of car, it will mean something about me. When I buy a certain kind of home, it will mean something about me. When in all reality, those things mean nothing about you because those things are constantly um, losing value every second where when we're strengthening, strengthening ourselves spiritually and emotionally, like we can have everything, anything and lose it and gain it back quickly or so much more or see the world so well to the point where it's like those things don't value that to you anymore because you realize that they really don't hold that value and you've been conditioned to see value in a thing that has no value. So the card that popped out, jumped out is the death card in the reversal position. And with the death card, so this is the death card in the upright position. And when I think about the death card, I think about, say, something clearly coming to an end, but wanting to um, avoid the inevitable. So I, it reminds me of the tower card, but, I, but with the tower, to me, the tower is like a sudden and unexpected change that shakes up the foundation. Where when I think about death card, I think about like a completion, like something completely ending. And when I look at the dolphin energy and the death card coming out together, but the death card is in the reversal position, <clears throat> I think about, say, how today some of you might be in a social environment and you can observe yourself around certain people and how there is nothing of substance that's really holding you to this connection anymore and how it's more of like, you know, the titles or wanting to be associated with certain things for the sake of being that is what's like holding you in certain environments or with certain connections. And when I think of the dolphin energy, I think about how the dolphins are very psychic and how intuitive they are. And when I look at the death card in the reversal position, think about the energies in the day, it brings me to say the importance of being in, be, being within your, within, it's like being within, being with like minds, like being with like minds. Because to me, I think about, say, when we're in the presence of people who aren't like minds is like the frequency. There's a back and forth between energy and frequency because we all carry en different energies and frequencies based on what it is that we're thinking and what we're thinking, you know, creates our reality on the inside and it projects into our world on the outside. So when we put ourselves in certain environments, it's like, it's like we have to put up a fight. It's like we have to put up a fight to keep our energy, you know, to, to be positive, to be pleasant. Opposed to say when you're in the presence of like-minded people who also have bad days, who also get down and out, but it doesn't last long because they choose not to dwell in it. They choose to journal. They choose to meditate. They choose to reflect. They choose to do the work. So it's like we all have bad days, but it's like becoming aware of, you know, the, or we all have bad moments within the day. 
and <clears throat> we choose not to turn it into a bad day, bad week, bad month, bad year. But something about like the death card with the dolphin card to me brings me to say being in your wrong, being in a tribe that isn't in alignment with your truth, but like for whatever reason, it's like feeling like you aren't as important or aren't as valuable outside of this group. I think of like, I don't know what, why it's coming to mind is like, say someone who's a part of a sorority or something, that's what spirit's bringing to mind. Someone's a part of some kind of a group. And with this group, it's like, they've been outgrown it, but for whatever reason, it's like to say, to put it on your resume or something, or to say you're a part of it, like it does something, it's, it benefits in some way. And it's like, okay, even though these people could be a little bit mean or a little bit pushy or even condescending and degrading, the word is coming to mind, is like I see a person like finding excuses to still participate and be in the presence of these people. And today does add up and reduce the number six vibration. So for some people, it might even just be your family members. But um, the death energy in the reversal position is like trying to avoid an inevitable. I think about for me, like what I wanted to say earlier and I forgot. And what I want to, what I thought about is say the person who smokes weed and when you smoke weed, it's like you smoke weed with these group of people. And the only thing you guys have in common is the fact that y'all get high together. And it's like the minute that you stop smoking weed, it's like you don't see the reason to go around them anymore. And maybe you stop smoking weed and you hung around them for a little bit and you're not smoking, but they're smoking. And it just feels like you're killing brain cells being in the presence of them because y'all ain't talking about nothing deep. It's not like they smoked and they done, you know, went to went to the moon and Neptune and back and you got and having downloads and you guys are getting deep and communicating. It's not even like that. So it's like, you know, I'm just getting like a sobering moment where something happens and someone's able to step out of a situation they've always been in and seeing how they don't fit. But at the same time, having a hard time, like completely walking away from it. And I get it because with the dolphin energy, it just gives me the vibe like that was once your tribe, that was once your family or that was. And with the death card, yeah, but the death card in the reverse position brings me to say, you know, some kind of an ending that one might be avoiding, an inevitable ending that one might be avoiding. And I just think about how the moon is in Gemini and the moon is being squared by Neptune. Neptune wants you to, you know, go inside yourself, reflect on your subconscious, your unconscious. And the way we see our unconscious uh, beliefs is by, you know, what we create around us and the things that we create around us that we can't see why it's happening it's a reflection of unconscious beliefs in the sense like whenever we create what we don't want or even some situations what we do want, but we don't know how we did it. It's like we sleepwalk through the process. It's because, you know, it's in the unconscious. So with the moon squaring Neptune, it's like the inner world doesn't even want to be reflective. It just wants to be social. It wants to connect with others, even if like, even if it's just not the best. That's something that I'm getting from that. But like, yeah, with the dolphin and the death card in the reversal position, I don't know, something, excuse me, keeps coming up when it comes to that. But I just get a big feeling like, you know, someone outgrowing a group, outgrowing something and avoiding the inevitable. I, I get a person going around, um, yeah, going around a group or, a group of people and trying to make it work when it's like you're un you're avoiding the inevitable. Like I think about me when like I would try to like I would feel guilty that I don't eat certain things because I felt like I was offending other certain people. So I'll try to go around and, you know, try to find something um, amongst what they're eating that fits what works for me. And either way, it's like. I don't know. I just get somebody forcing something. But with the dolphin energy, to me, it brings me to intuition, premonition, and just that psychic ability and just knowing something just doesn't feel right because it deals with, dolphin deals with the water element, water energy. So something doesn't feel right and someone's ignoring what that, the fact that something doesn't feel right and is ignoring an inevitable ending. 
and the day as of reduce the number six vibration because like you know maybe there's some kind of a status or some kind of social so, social status when it comes to uh, the association why it's so hard i would love to know what's up with that um but you guys such a pleasure sharing this message with you if you'd like to book a reading with me or check out my exclusive weekly contents only on Patreon. The links for that is in the description box below. Please let me know you're here with me by dropping me a white heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you and look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.